Welcome to Control Shift Enter Accelerate Formula video number 4.5. Yeah, we just did four, and it was about join array operation. Uh, why are we doing a 4.5? Because the example I did in video number four for a join operation was not as efficient as it could be. And actually, Millen Kovson at YouTube pointed out in the comment sections a little bit easier formula. And Mr. Excel, even all the way back in Dual 50 Tool 2 that I did with him, pointed this out. In this particular example here, notice we have numbers and there's no duplicate records. In that case, instead of doing that big fancy join operation, we can simply use the sum ifs function. The sum range, I'm highlighting here. Now we're kind of cheating here because it's not going to actually add anything. It's just going to go get one number because it's never going to find more than one match. But I'm going to hit F4, comma, criteria range. We'll start with this one. F4, comma, and then the criteria. Well, it's going to be the code. But going this way, I need locked. When I copy down, I don't need it locked. So I'm going to hit the F4 key one, two, three times. Lock the column, but not the row. Then I'm going to get the left, right. F4, comma, and there's our criteria up there. And this one's going to be locked the row, but not the column. Close parentheses, Control Enter. And it's using some ifs to just go and get one number with two criteria. If we go to the diagonally furthest one away and hit F2, you can see, sure enough, it's got the two criteria, the two criteria range. And although it's not summing a bunch of numbers, it's going and getting the number. And that's the formula to use in this particular situation. Now, let's look at the same exact situation, but here we're not retrieving a number. We're retrieving some text or something. So as we saw in our last video, you can do it a few different ways. If you wanted to use that array formula, you'd simply use the index function and say, hey, I'm going to go and look up from this column here, F4 to lock it, comma, and the row number. Well, I'm going to use the match. And the lookup value, well, I'm going to have to join these two values. So I'm going to click there and lock it one, two, three, four, three times. I hit the F4 key and join it to this one, two to lock the row, but not the column. That's the lookup value, comma, and then the lookup array. And this time, unlike last video, I'm not going to use any extra character. I'm just going to join the two ranges. There shouldn't be a problem at all here. F4, that's the lookup array. Remember, that's the array join operation. So we've taken one, two columns. If I hit F9 to evaluate it, you can see it creates a single item. And there's that semicolon, which is the array syntax for go down to one row. We can see the curly brackets. So we can see that there is from two columns a single column. Control Z to undo that. We're going to comma 0 because we didn't sort this. Close parentheses. That's the exact match. Close parentheses on the uh, index, Control Enter. Oh, what do we do? We forgot Control Shift Enter. Now what do we do? Control Shift and Enter. That is working. You can see the curly brackets up in the formula bar. I'm going to drag it over and then double click and copy it down. Click in the last cell, hit F2. Sure enough, that is working fine. Now if you hit Enter here, it gives you the value error. So you'd have to re-enter it with Control Shift Enter. But if you put it in edit mode, you want to then hit Escape and it will not get rid of those curly brackets. All right, so that's a little bit better example if we have some text items in that join operation is looking pretty good. But oh, if we have numbers and there's no duplicate records, wow, that sum ifs is absolutely beautiful for this situation. Love hanging out on the online Excel team, Milan and Mr. Excel. All right, we'll see you next video.